Of course, guns are useful and we like to go out and shoot it, but the truth is, some guns are just pure sexy. Man, you got some sexy guns here. What do we have? We have two guns here. We have uh, MCX, which is our newest AR platform, okay. and we have a 716 G2. All right, let's start with this thing. First of all, your stock's broken, man. I don't know what you're gonna do with this. Yeah, we don't like uh, extension tubes in this company. <laughs> so uh, the first thing you do notice is that the, uh, the extension tube is removed. There's a Picatinny rail there. We have five stock options you can put on this rifle. Wow. All the action springs are in the upper receiver, which allows you to fold your, fold your stock. That is just so sweet. Okay, so what do we got on the front end of this? On the front end, uh, what you'll see it, when you go through this, what we really want to do is we want to upgrade a standard AR. So we basically made it so you can convert calibers, 300 blackout, 5.56, oh. 762 by 39. Right. As well as barrel length. If you remove the handguard real quick, two screws there, your barrel comes right out the front. Okay. okay. Take, take standard AR mags? Standard AR mags fit in there. Um, and then we did some upgrades. We have a cam path wear plate. We have an ambi charging handle, and you'll see there's two metal, steel pins behind there. And we have a feed ramp insert that's metal. Okay, all that's to make it last longer because those are the wear points. Correct. Okay, now we go to the big boy over here. This is our 716 G2. Right, this okay. is a 308. It's a 308. Right. So the two things we really wanted to focus on here was accuracy and weight. The old rifle weighed about 11.3 pounds, the new rifle is about nine. Wow, how'd you get rid of the weight? Uh, it took a diet in a lot of places. <laughs> Upper receiver, lower receiver, handguard, barrel was a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, bolt carrier, this actually uses a standard AR-15 extension tube instead of an AR-10 because there's a little bit of weight there. Okay. As far as accuracy goes, position of the gas block as well as stylization of the gas block, weight, the size of it, and the profile of the barrel are how we got the accuracy. So for those that may want to try some hunting, this is a great rig for that. If you just want to do some long range shooting, you're good to go with your 308. Correct. There you go. All right, SIG is now a big time rifle maker. You got to check these options out. You can start drooling now. Yes, the SIG MCX rifle. Everyone's freaking out about this gun, John. It's awesome. I mean, and they talked about it in the studio. They tell you everything, all these really cool features. But let's just talk about shooting the gun and, you know, talk about short barrel rifles, talk about the 300 blackout, because that's what this gun is chambered in, Absolutely. this particular gun. Yeah. So, uh, 300 blackout was made for shorter barrels. It's mm -hmm. still not, it's not a CQB cartridge. You can hit, make hits up to 350 sure. yards with the, the supersonic. Uh, the whole point behind it was everybody wanted shorter barrels, but the problem is you lose velocity. When you lose velocity, you lose energy. So with 300 blackout, we start out with a heavier projectile, which gives us more energy on target. So this nine inch uh, 300 blackout right. is basically uh, energy on target equivalent to an M4 and 14 and a half inch barrel with M855 ammo. And uh, you know, when you hit, you just hit that much harder. Let's do it. The SIG MCX. This is with supersonic ammo, nine inch barrel. Comfortable gun to shoot. It is. I mean, 300 blackout's easy to shoot anyway, but the silencer actually takes about half of the recoil and obviously most of the noise. Well, there's a special feature on this particular gun. Yeah, that's actually a nine inch machine gun. All right, let's give it the extra switch. Machine guns. 